Malachi getting the first pick. Get three, Pyro! Get three with the- Wait, kid, put it on a clinic? Oh, down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop the beat. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the beat drop. We have got an amazing team for you here to get us started off in our um, beat drop segment for the evening, and that is who. It's getting a little hot in here. It's Ember from the Transcendence here. Say hi, everybody. Yeah, it's us. Hello. What's Hello. Up? <laughs> yeah, All yeah, we're right. a little hot, a little spicy. A little bit, a little bit. It's uh, me, Captain Jack, joined by Gizmo Charmander as my co-interviewer for the evening. Uh, we're going to be having a, a lot of fun, so let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Starting off with... J Star and moving your way down, please go ahead and introduce yourselves, your name, your position on the team, and your favorite voice line. Uh, hi, my name is J Star. I'm the GM slash main tank of Ember. Um, my favorite voice line is the good old hammer down voice line from Reinhardt. Mm, that is a good one. Although I wish that they would make something for his axe skins. Like, I'm going to axe you down or something like that. Just saying. <laughs> saying Lumber hammer Jack. down when you got a giant axe in your hand is just, True. It's just weird. I mean, he, he does get touchdown! Well, that's, for, that's yeah, that's for, that for the gridiron. Yeah, yeah that's, that's for the gridiron really skin, though. That makes sense, see? That's oh, what I'm saying. Cut need, you down. Need, need, oh, no. Exactly. You need something for those uh, Need something for those axe skins. I'm just saying, Blizzard. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Balls in your court, Blizzard. There we go. This this isn't a request. This is a threat. Oh no, we don't make threats here. We make money. All make right. Promises. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We I, make promises. I do not. I do not represent oh. these individuals. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chad. How about you? Uh, my name is Chad. I'm flex support for Ember, and you need adult supervision on us. Because <laughs> my main take needs adult supervision a lot. <laughs> wow. Very much so. Shh, the adults are talking. Yeah, I honestly don't know any main tank that doesn't need supervision, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, Lynn, you're up. Hi, my name is Lynn. Most people know me as Frosty. I'm a DPS player for Ember, and my favorite voice line is probably Hit Me from Lucio or I Need Healing when I'm playing Genji. <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to stop you. Oh no, it shouldn't gosh. be I Need Healing. It should be You Need the Healing. Oh, oh that's gosh. true. That's an, I forgot that one exists. That's probably my third favorite then. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's funny enough, the last interview I did, I think we had someone that said the exact same thing. It's like all these changey mains, their favorite line is, <laughs> I need healing. I guess it makes sense. All right. And then last but not least, Tescu. Uh, hi, I'm Tess. I play DPS for Ember. Uh, my favorite voice line would have to be Torbjorn's BINGO. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good one. I like it. That is a good one. It's very similar to Ryan's catchphrase. It's just, it's yeah. just those one, exactly. It's those one-liners that just, you know, you hear it and it's like, yeah, all right. I just like, I just like to picture Torbjorn sitting in some old, like some old retirement home, <laughs> smashing his metal claw into a wind table, just screeching bingo, drunk and just blackout drunk, not conscious of where he is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be great. That would That's be a great absolutely image right there. fantastic. We're going to need to make a short of that. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and throw it back on up to J-Star. Because obviously you don't have a four-man team. There's definitely more players on this team. Uh, as well as a coach who we didn't have listed. So go ahead and let us know uh, who's not here. So for uh, there are technically speaking three more three more people two that are actually players want to coach, 
Um, tell him Jay can off tank. Um, I really don't know what his favorite voice line would be. Um, Blaze, then our main support, Blaze, who's, uh, I'm assuming favorite voice line would probably be something with Lucio. Mm -hmm. So, actually, actually, last night he was, uh, when you're in scrim, uh, he brought up the Boostio voice line, so I think that's a oh, good yeah, show. Oh, no, it's it definitely his favorite one. <laughs> yeah, I think that's yeah. show. The Boostio! Yeah. Right. Blaze is your Reddit Lucio in your back line. Easy Guys day. fucking Easy nuts. Day. Actually built diff. Then, <laughs> last but not least, uh, our, court, our coach, George. Um, not really much to say about him. He's mainly a DPS player. He's done a really good job helping us out so far up to this point. Um, yeah. Awesome. That's those are the other three that are MIA right now. All right. Well, as you folks know, Ember is uh were part of the preseason, unfortunately got eliminated in round one, but have come into the regular season swinging or a setting up one oh as we walk into week one. So uh, be sure to be keeping your eye out for Ember folks as we go ahead and get started tonight. Gizmo. How about we start off them there interview questions? All right. So this one's pretty much just for J-Star. Uh, tell us the history about your team. So when I – I've always wanted to put together a team and pretty much just have a group of people that have the same mentality I do that we want to win, we want to get better, we want to grow as individuals but most as a team and take the step to the next level. And I was really fortunate enough to um, meet Chad along the way. Um, fun fact, I used to be Chad's coach, and now we're <laughs> playing together. <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, I was the reason why, you know, Chad's even in trying, to be honest. But um, I was fortunate enough to, you know, get a little bit of a core going with him and Ch with uh, Chad, and we're like, let's make this thing happen. And you know we got we got blessed really early on with Blaze. Um, we had a few. We had a little bit of a rough patch with our off tank and DPS players for a little bit. But once we got that sorted out, we're this is where we're at now. Um, so yeah, pretty much we just all have the same mentality of wanting to win, wanting to be the best. All right, all right. Not a good place to not a not a bad place to have a focus on. That's for sure. Yeah. So throwing games, taking names. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes they're tactical, all right? You, yeah. you know, you get the see, you gotta That's a very nice games. way to put it. There's always, there's always two games going on during a match of Overwatch. There's the physical game where you're actually fighting it out, and then there's, there's the RuneScape game. And yeah, then there's RuneScape. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right, I'm Make sorry. I won't, I won't derail this any further. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, you good? You good? Um, so why the name Ember? We so Chad and I had been thinking just in general for names, and we wanted to go something fire based because we thought that. Um, we originally started with oh crap, what was the name before? I don't even remember. We had gone through quite a few bad names. Volcanic like, Eruption. Volcanic Eruption was one of them. That one was pretty bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Incandescence was one of them. That one was pretty bad. And, yeah. like, oh, it was just a series of bad names after bad names. Then and we came up with Ember because it was the remainings of the teams we destroy. Yeah. It was my that thought was process. process. I like it. I like right. it. All right. All right. All right. So... All right, typically we'd ask this of the coach, but I guess we'll send it to J-Star. Um, who would you say, um, you know, during the time that the team has been together, is your most improved player? 100% Blaze. Blaze started at, when we first picked him up, he was about uh, 3,300, didn't really talk, didn't really, you know, do much. He was just kind of there on the main support doing his job. And the more we integrated him into the team, the more that we integrated him into the comm structure, the more that his actual character has come out. And the dude has made substantial like improvements in the main support role. Like, I think Chad can vouch for this the best because that's his, you know, counterpart. 
like in the beginning like it was just chad screaming for help from somebody now blaze you know whenever chad even mutters a uh, half of a word blaze is there you know peeling for him <laughs> doing doing his job making nice. sure that nobody touches chad and it's it's really impressive to see how far blaze has come um now he's hit 3600 lucio god um and yeah Blaze is probably by far is by far our most improved player so far. Nice. He's built diff. Blaze just is built different. That simple. Blaze diff. Actual freak of nature who decided to pick up a keyboard instead of pursue like I don't know extreme mountain climbing. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. Actual yeah. freak. Yeah. Nice as you do over me, but man, he when it comes game time or scrim time, he's on it. Like I think uh, the best way to explain this was so yesterday we were scrimming and we were on route 66 first point Mm -hmm. and you know how the walls are incredibly high surrounding the point uh we were playing on top of gas station and i see this man come from the top of the frame of my like from the top of my screen and just fucking from the top ropes just take down afar it was incredible (laughs) i've never i've never seen such an alpha presence in a game you know what just I don't know what it is about the transcendence here in. There's uh, always that one Frank. Lucio there's player always, that hits there's scan. There's always a couple of Lucio players that essentially are are far gods uh, in the making, right there. Last season, we they Bleach. were on uh, Re- Bleach on Requiem was yeah. one of those that like the entire match against Good Boys, like you just see them in the sky fighting the Far Mercy, and I'm like, what and is taking this? them down. What is this ridiculousness? But, well, it's, it's crazy too because like nine times out of ten when lucios do that they're feeding their brains out but like this man has the discipline to like not hard commit onto just the sky egyptian i don't know (laughs) yeah don't play widow against him it's actually true don't play widow against him he will he will he will die you and he will not think twice about it i've never had the fear of god struck into me as i have playing (laughs) against blaze All right. Well, I guess Blaze is definitely the Lucio one trick to be looking out for then this season. Um, starting once again at the top and moving your way down to everyone. Um, why don't you tell us what drew you to the role that you play on the team? So, if you're a tank player, why'd you why'd you pick up tank? If you're a DPS, why'd you pick up DPS and so on? Okay. So back in 2017, I believe it was height of goats meta um i ran into a bunch of people in a lfg lobby who were like yeah we want to really grind the game get better and everything and i was originally a junkrat mccree two trick and they're like well we need a reinhardt player i'm like oh okay looks like it's time time for me to pick up the reinhardt so uh yeah that's how i started playing tank and one thing led to another and yeah now here i am uh, but yeah, just grinding with a bunch of people I just happened to meet, you know, is what drew me into playing tank. All right. Um, what drew me into support was really just, I mean, first I was a tank main and then I'm like, oh, I just climbed to masters on support. I guess I should do this instead. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I'm like, and I'm very like, my goal is like, I'm not like one of those fragging supports. I do the behind the scenes stuff and keep people alive in scenarios that are not very <laughs> optimal mm-hmm. to keep them alive, but they stay alive. Thank you. So. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, sir. Sometimes I want to quit because of J star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, sure, yeah. I'm sure just about every main support and tranquility feels exactly as you do. <laughs> and that Ryan feeds just a little bit too much for your liking. All right, Lynn, yeah. how about you? Uh, really, I've always been like filling around to what role I wanted to play. I played a lot of mm-hmm. off tank and comp. I played a lot of support. I played DPS, but like, I really have, I guess, like, I play so many shooters. It kind of like DPS fits like the filling space that I'm used to. Like, I play Counter Strike, I play Valorant, and all that. So it's like I'm used to like taking duels with like the guns and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's like I already had the mindset to have like, the aim to fight people and take distance and learn, like, the angles I need to hold as, like, a DPS. So, really, I just kind of stuck to that in many teams. Like, I did it for 
Against the lock, I played for Habaneros on DPS, so it's been like my natural role really for teams. All right. And Tess. Uh, initially, I thought Overwatch was a dog water game, which Oof. no comment on my current opinions of that. Rip. Uh, uh, but I was initially drawn in because of the movement of the game. I thought it was like really fast paced, and as a person that came from Counter Strike, it was a really um, refreshing pace. Mm. So it was actually a Reddit Lucio one trick for like a solid year. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I was playing pretty much every day with a group of friends and they're like hey let's start playing in a team and i had to make my sacrifice of lucio to start playing dps mm -hmm. because nobody else wanted to play dps mm -hmm. and i made the sacrifice and here we are like three years later and i'm still just playing the shoots man <laughs> all right gizmo go ahead and keep moving us all right along all right so a question we always like to find out is who is the parent or the parents of the team? Who keeps you guys in line? <laughs> that's a good um, one. Uh, <laughs> everyone's like, that's it a really depends on, the <laughs> depends on the situation, really. Because a lot of the time it's Talm. Uh, when he's not joining in the jokes. Um, sometimes A lot of the times it's Len, to be honest. He, he just, uh, me. You, well... Because wow. you're Chad. Sometimes you, Chad. Uh, yeah. I think a good way to summarize it is that in our comms, it's we're basically a frat house. Like, there's not really a parent, but if somebody's, like, getting tilted, like, or out of line or a bit too cocky, typically one of us will stop partying to drag the other back to Earth, and gotcha. then we can continue just with our antics. Uh, but it, if I had to voice my opinion, it would probably be tell me and Chad, Tom unfortunately couldn't make it. He had some personal issues to attend to, but yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm the mom. Tom's the dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Nothing wrong. Really, with that. another way. Really, another way to put it is like we're all there for each other. Like, yeah. in any scenario, like someone gets tilted, sometimes like we all help each other, or like if like we're having like a bad time, we like talk to each other. So like we're all there for each other. Like we're all good friends. Trying to make sure we're all good with the mindset and ready to play. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, except Jay. We all unanimously. <laughs> this, this, this is the common thread that we've all bonded across is our unanimous <laughs> hatred for Jay Star. I was trying to be nice. Yeah. Man, you uh, know. Oh, well, I, I guess with that that statement right there, I think we might already know the next answer. But uh, probably. Who is the most? Unlucky on your team makes uh, a plan, but always seems to have a hiccup. Tess, <laughs> I actually, probably me. To be uh, honest, it's either me or Tess. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, we mostly just clown Jay. But if we're coming in like to pure just unluckiness, I don't know if that's really a word, but just it's you. Lack of luck. <laughs> I think it'd either be. Just walks it's around the corner. Probably me. To Boom, be honest. headshot by Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll peek my head out of spawn, barely a millimeter, and suddenly there's a Hanzo air flying at me at Mach 3. Just, it's unfortunate. I think in one of our my first tryouts with the team, I was Echo, and I cloned someone and didn't realize where I was on the map, and I fell off the map. Oh my god. I cloned that I fell off the map and died. Lynn, I mean this in the nicest way possible. That doesn't sound unlucky. That just sounds like you're bad. Oh, I was flying over the bridge, and I thought it was over. And I hit the ramp on the little like wall. I hit the ramp, and it slid me off the map. Oh, I hate that. I just mean it. I was so sad. Oh, Wait, this guy's dang. actually throwing tryouts? <laughs> Wait a second. And we still picked him up. Wow. The person that environmentals himself a lot is uh, uh, it's... truly J-Star. <laughs> Don't put me on the wrecking ball. That is a uh, that is a uh, self-suicide waiting to happen. Um... <laughs> if you put Jay on the on the wrecking ball, he might as well apply to the MLB considering how hard he's throwing our games. It's actually incredible. It is... <laughs> It is next level. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Mach right. five feeding. Oh man! <laughs> I go in. I go in about Mach five. Get flash fanned, hooked, brig stunned. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then we clown. What you? if we're playing main tank in twenty twenty one? 
All right, what? let's let the hosts there, do their thing. I was about to say, there's a main tank in 2021? What? <laughs> True. There, there's tanking in 2021? Come on. Wait, Overwatch is a game? Yeah. Goodness. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, last question we have. We've kind of covered this a little bit, but we'll go ahead and reiterate. But as a team and as an individual player, what are your goals for the uh tranquility tournament in season six personally i want to hit masters haven't done that before so that's something that i am actively grinding towards even though it's uh, kind of terrible right now mm -hmm. um but that's personally for a team goal uh i want to win it all and uh, i don't know who you're up against right Oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We know. <laughs> yeah, on I mean, to be honest, uh as a team, we've talked about like our goals. Uh and obviously we all have our individual goals, but as a team, we've made the agreement that we're just going to push to take it all no. and not to sound uh narcissistic or cocky or anything, but um it's pretty funny how teams are sleeping on us and I'm um, just excited to see people get rolled. It's, <laughs> I mean, just being honest, I, they can think I, we're dog. I don't care. As soon as we're like number one in standings, who cares? Yeah. I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah. yeah I, we get slept on a lot. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Unfortunately we have that a lot during the season. And I think it's just more so because, you know, there's only so much that you can see of teams if they're not, if they're not casted, so uh, trying to make sure that you're giving giving every team the attention that they deserve and it not just be solely off of their current standings is uh, is difficult, to say the least. So uh, I, I'm definitely looking forward to that. So uh, Chad and Lynn, how about you all? What is What are your goals or additional team goals that you have for this upcoming season? My personal goal is, because I was on... Because I last season, I don't know if you guys knew, but I was on Exodus as flex support oh. and Discord tier. It came yeah. a little short. Um, and that's just feeling me because I'm like, first season, second place, not good enough. Yep. So I'm like, I'm going to make the jump. I'm going to find a team. And then I'm, I want to, I want to hard roll. That's all I want to do. All right. uh, I've been trying to become better as a team player, as an individual player, and just find the right team that i can that we don't we don't joke around when it's game time okay. we just work this is not just fun for us it's also work so all pretty much how i say that all right how about you lynn a uh, personal goal really is like to enjoy myself because i want to like have fun but at the same time i want to prove like that i'm worthy of like the SR I've reached, the way I've played, like, I've had a lot of doubters recently. Yeah. Like, the past few seasons I've been doubted because, like, I didn't play as I my SR showed. Yeah. And really, this season, I just want to, like, show that, like, I can play that way. Yeah. And, like, I'm able to. And uh, as well as, like, a team goal, I want to just, like, have fun, build a good synergy with the team and win as much as we can. Win or lose, just keep our heads up. Yeah, I think that's one thing that people put a uh a lot more value in than they really should is SR because you know at the end of the day we're all still human and SR is just kind of an average of how you're doing so you could be doing better you could be doing worse but I, I, I'm on spot off for everyone out there SR does not represent team game no yeah exactly really, okay really what you do in comp is free for all BS what you guys do here in Trank that is actual Overwatch yep that, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's what really I like to say. To. Unless yeah. you're like hard IGLing in comp, and even then, that's not guaranteed to do anything really. Like, it, you're basically just playing like a 1v11. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Um, but exactly. there's unfortunately not a way to really securely six stack in comp at the moment. So, yeah. Um, I think a, a lot more viable way, even if it's uh, not been proven to work in the past, is just the good old. Uh, economy of scrim bucks, I think, is probably just, like, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. In invest while you can. I mean, I always my phrase is always that you have a you have a comp SR, and you have a scrim SR. Yep. And I don't care about my comp SR whatsoever. 
I just care about what I'm scrimming because yeah. I, I mean, comp is really just mechanical skill. Scrim is really where you get to use your all your brain mechanics, mm-hmm. and that's where I thrive in. Yeah, and yeah. I think I think that's definitely the hardest part about a game like Overwatch is that the metric being used to measure, you know, a person's success doesn't come close to that of if you you know in a team based game uh, a lot of the ratings are based off of you know your individual ability vice how you how you react with members of a team and i mean i obviously know there's not an effective way to be able to measure that but you know maybe someday we can uh, we can get something in a team based game that's actually team related as to how successful you can be well, I mean, like, I think in, like, scrims or in uh, Tranquility, mm-hmm. uh, like, you get to see a much more coordinated and a much more um, well-oiled machine, right? Where yep. in comp, you get thrown into a monkey cage with a bunch of uh, <laughs> people that just like rubbing their teeth to nubs with rocks. And yep. you have to go in yep. there and try to communicate with the ape herd and communicate, ape together strong, and <laughs> maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. <laughs> Who knows? By the end of the day, like, if you have two bananas and the enemy team has three, they're going to be mad at you because you didn't take their banana from them. The comp apes will only trade SR for shiny rocks and banana. That is oh, all that they care about. Oh my <laughs> I mean... Yes. I want to say that you're wrong, but you're not wrong. I mean, that is quite literally what it comes down to. And I think that if we spend a lot more time looking at how teams work together than just SR, I mean, I know in Transcendence tier alone, there are quite a few teams. Even the the two teams that we're uh, featuring tonight, Caprophobia and Ghostly Peppers in the VOD, have players that are, you know, relatively low sr actually i think qualifying more for discord than they are for transcendence that as a team as part of a team play at that transcendence tier level so it really it really cuts into the mindset of of, oh this is you know just a that you know these ratings are a real good show of how you are as a player when it's really no you gotta like there's more to it than that, and unfortunately, there's not a great metric other than watching the team over a period of time to see how that team truly operates with one another. So, yeah, and I think uh, there's also the point to be made, and I won't name names, but I I think even in um, tranquility, uh, you can look. I think there are certain Discord teams better than trans teams. Yeah, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, like there's some names in, and that's both because there's some, uh, you know, struggle, strugglers, I'll say that in a transcendence tier, but there's also some really standout teams in discord, um, shout to Atlas, by the way. Uh, (laughs) but you know, non bot all biases aside, I think the best way you can really see how well a team actually is is to try to ignore individual mechanics and see purely how they play as a team i think with that you can get a way better sense of what a team's peak is yeah i mean we hear we hear this all the time too like when we're uh when us as podcasters or casters are talking kind of behind the scenes you know we hear about teams that are you know in discord tier but scrimming at like a 4k level and it's it's not really surprising to us because you know obviously if they qualify for the lower level you know and you're not a team that really wants to go hardcore then yeah obviously they would go for that lower level but as a reminder to all teams you can always move up a tier even if you don't qualify like there's there technically is no bottom cap you just get put at the bottom cap that is for that tier. So, like, if you want to move up to Transcendence tier and all of your team technically qualifies for Discord, you'll just get rated, like, on our <laughs> records as a Transcendence tier team. And you can compete at that level. Like, there's nothing against that. And I, I wonder I wonder how different the tiers would be if teams decided to do that instead of just sticking in their areas. Like, sticking you know- where their SR keeps them. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my two cents in. Think okay. of it as like sports. 
you always want to go against the when you're at practice you don't go up against the guy you know you're going to roll over you're going to go up against the guy you know who's going to give you the hardest time yep it, it's the same thing with your sr and team play if you keep playing the same teams every week a you get used to it and you don't learn from anything you want to play teams that actually can show you where your weaknesses are okay yeah you all there's more to learn from if you lose than if you win exactly Absolutely. But you don't want to lose in the main game if you oh, can yeah, help it. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. trying to get those out in the scrims at least. But I mean, like it's like even if you do lose, it just it, it gives you more thrive, more power to want to win, and yeah. like it just gives you more energy, and you keep just go harder the next week. I mean, like for example, like you could put an Overwatch team like the Shock. Um, they lost two games at the beginning of the season and then rolled throughout the thing because it's not about those games that you mess up. It's about the games that you fix and how you prosper for them. I mean, like, Exus was a Discord tier team last season. We were scrimming 4.3 mid th midway through the season consistently. Okay. But, yeah, I know I did go off the edge a little, a little towards the end, but that is what it is. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's really what it comes down to. And I, I think, you know, we've seen this a lot this season more than most and i don't know if it's the impact of you know how um <clears throat> how quarantine has been on our mental as as everybody kind of knows at this point that it's been you know everyone's sitting probably a few spoons less than we normally are um on any given day just because we have to deal with quarantine every day but i feel like teams have been a lot harder on themselves lately when they lose when really they need to be looking at those moments as as you all were saying as moments to to learn and grow from like that's the whole point of this tournament is to learn and grow and get better you know we've seen team team after team start in harmony tier move their way up to discord the next season transcendence tier the next season you know and they might not win like they might not take it all at the end of the season but they still learn from it they still grow from it and they still keep succeeding like when it comes to sr and team compatibility so uh, i would never i would never hold so much value in a win or a loss as long as you're having fun and you're learning more about yourself and about the game i think that's what it really comes down to so now that we've had that yeah. beautiful heart to heart, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and move There's a on. Tear in my eye. Exactly. <laughs> so many tears. Let's go ahead and move on to cry. our next section called word association. So basically myself or Gizmo will say a word. And then the first word that comes to mind, you say it. And that's it. That's pretty much all it is. And, you know, we can sit down and kind of discuss it Everybody after everybody shared their word or why they picked that particular word. So um, first word we're going to start off with is a name you're really familiar with, and that's Tell mm. So J-Star, start us off. What can you what can you tell us about Tell Him? Oh, Tell Him? Got off tank. All right. All right. Chad, mature, mature for his age, very mature. Oh, yeah, the most actually, mature people are, in our in our thing. All right, Lynn. Great guy. Oh, and Tess. Arissa OTP. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody, Every, everyone else is gonna be nice to tell. Everybody, see nah, it. dude. Everybody, see <laughs> nah, we hit like that. The return of the horse. Get your saddles yeah. ready, boys. <laughs> We read it on. <laughs> that, you know what? That, that, I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. As an Iris podcaster, Ember takes it all because they don't sleep on the horse meta. I'm saying it right now. No. I'm saying it right now. <laughs> well, it's like, I was looking at an old political cartoon the other day. It was like, we're like, oh, the the combustion carriage is a fad. The horse shall live forever. And that's kind of how I feel whenever we play with Helm. <laughs> The horse, the horse will, will live, live forever. forever. The yeah, the combustion like carriage is a fad. Oh, the one person gracious. that likes to play the horse. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I have an yeah. I have an affinity for the horse as well. I mean, I I obviously love being a Reinhardt player, but you know, there are some times that are an Arissa is just better. You know, low low key, Arissa got probably the best skin this lunar. 
Oh, true. Totally. Wait, actually, that true. Bull skin, that Actual. Bull skin, that bull fire. skin. It like I like I, when they came out with demon and skin. <sighs> and she's, she's one of the characters when they come out with a legendary skin. I always say that that skin's going to be like I'm never going to change that skin. Then they come out with another skin, and it's just so much beautiful yep. detail on that on that and character. It's just better. Yeah. Yeah. So. Arissa yeah, just I, built death. Literally. Yeah. I, I saw that Arissa skin and just. <laughs> oh God! I just. Oh I can't. <laughs> man, so I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just get worked up. I get worked up. I'm sorry. So our next word might 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 uh scratch at you a little bit, and that's corvidity. Corvidity. Sorry, I had a little burp. Corvidity. No uh, that beer's coming back to haunt me. <laughs> Four zero. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, you took mine. I mean, yeah. Same, 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 same thing. thing. But, uh, there's no uh, restrictions. All right, hard roll. Oh. Ooh. Unmatched. Ah. Oh. And test. Easy. Dang. So hard. Dang. So hard. There's, my team's wow. toxic. Wow. <laughs> Wait a second. We're actually toxic. Oh Wait a God. second. I said, I said yeah, fun match, so and they're going to be toxic. Listen, well, there, okay, there's a, there's a very key difference to toxicity and confidence. Uh, I'll just I'll just fair. say it there. And uh, frankly, if if Corvidity really has an issue with that, then they can clap back at us. That's fine. We're big right. boys. We can handle it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, right. you know, this next one, a lot of us like it. So, dirt. I like that. <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Tess, so Tess, sad. rain it in a little bit, buddy. <laughs> God so support. God yeah, fuck support. Ooh. Jack. <laughs> true. true. The god off tank. Oh, we love dirt. That's all I gotta say. I'm about to say, say love them. <laughs> yeah. You know, Max? I'm a. Uh, I don't really. Uh, I'm not very friendly towards competition, but dirt is the exception. <laughs> I was about to say you face them in two weeks. Or hey, I guess ladies and gentlemen, like I say, like I said, we all love dirt. We we do. <laughs> we love dirt. Yeah. I'm so sad they lost week one. Yeah, that was a big rip. I just yeah. cried all night. By that I mean, of course I didn't. I mean, you cried. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I got not. at the end of the day, you know, we saw dirt. I, I honestly wonder if Dirt kind of sandbags, to be completely honest with you. Because when we yeah. saw that finals run, that playoffs run last season, I was like... That's not the same thing. That's not the same Dirt. <laughs> like, that they can't also... be the same Dirt. So, I, they, I, they, I wonder, they hurt the bugs, please. Exactly. Please. I wonder if they're I wonder if they're just sleeping, if everybody's just sleeping on Dirt, you know? And they're just going to do the same thing this season, you know, get get in by the skin of their teeth, but really they're just like major OP and they're just uh, going to have fun with everybody for the <laughs> next I could two see months. That, to be honest. So, all all memes aside about Dirt, I think Dirt is actually incredibly talented. I mean, I don't oh, think yeah. that's a hot take, but I think um with their first match something that was really highlighted uh from my angle is that they're incredibly skilled individually uh, uh they just didn't seem to be there as a like a coherent unit yet and I, I wouldn't be concerned about them uh in the future honestly i think they know that i don't i don't think we're gonna see uh like a, the dirt disaster if you will i gotcha. think <laughs> it'll i think it'll be fine i think people need to chill out including myself uh on their first performance it's not a big yeah. deal rough start I'm, happens to the best of us uh, you know it was another thing that we put out week one it's like half of the teams this week are gonna lose it just happens you know yep and because you lose one match you're objectively just bad yep. yeah well no no <laughs> yep. we were, we were, I, I believe i believe the language we used was the exact opposite of that to be honest no i'm just gonna i'm just gonna gaslight everything you say to make oh, it sound so much oh, more bitter oh goodness no that i do not believe that is what we ended up sharing so uh, half of the teams will lose but that does not mean that's where you have to stay folks so that that's the whole point of this tournament it's to learn and grow so you know take your you know, like we said, it's great to learn in scrims, but, you know, if you have to learn from one of your main matches, 
that's good too. You know, take it all back, you know, roll back the VODs, you know, do some reviewing, try to come up with some better strats. The meta right now is just like anyone honestly that says they know the meta are either in that Insane. top 500 sphere or honestly have no clue what they're doing. I, I'm I just saying it right lying to you. Like Looks... everybody running this, it, uh, everyone running this like Sigma ball lower than masters i it just makes no sense to me because most of the time there's no coordination like you know just play what you're good at that's literally what it comes down to just play what you're good at so also the yeah, plates meta right now is a monkey knife fight say, we Blades have our are... lucio god yeah oh, blaze hey. can, can just hard carry us Looks oh like... blaze <laughs> oh, so... blaze. Oh. blaze is you're here late. hey blaze how are you I am. Blaze, you were talking <laughs> trash about you. We were talking about how trash ca- how trash you are at this game. Awesome. <laughs> they, they, may, they may or may not have mentioned that you have a phobia of pharmacy. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I No, I, I wasn't saying that. I was saying he was contesting them Whoa, yesterday. What was that? That's what, oh. I was. what was that? Absolute trash against pharmacy? That's oh, yeah, wait. Blaze, oh, and, absolute and, and, see, we dog. Can do we can Don't do forget that he hides He hides from Widowmakers, too. See, we, can do, no, we can do a man. back test. I've got a challenge. We can do a back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, Blaze, why don't you go ahead and quickly introduce yourself, your name, your position on the team, and your favorite character voice line. Voice line. Uh-huh. Uh, I am Blaze. I am the main support for Ember. And uh, fuck, what would her... <laughs> be my favorite voice line? Uh, you know, no, no. It's uh, it's Brigitte's uh, voice line for you're making a chicken out of a feather because it sounds awful because she's saying it in her language. Oh. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> something like that. Oh, it's very man, strange. That's, that's kind of insensitive. But, but it's great. To, it's it's very great. To spam yeah. now. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Here we were, and we, here we were hoping everyone was right with the boostio. <laughs> we were yeah, we right assumption. You know, you know, I was very happy though because our last scrim, someone did get boosted. Yeah, well, well, that's what I brought up. Someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> wasn't me. One boostio player, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they, they did. They did. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's not like my last main support that would jump in front of me when I said I was going to Nana. <laughs> we all know who that is. <laughs> You're right. Blaze jumps off the cliff whenever you he's <laughs> getting nano. Yeah. Ajax beats. Yep. All right. Yep, 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 so yep. looks like we've got uh, one more in this category, and you know we we kind of ask this just because we want to get a feel about how you feel about you know the community that you're part of. So the last word it, for word association is tranquility. Amazing. Mm. All right. Family. All right. Great Blaze. friends. Oh wait, I forgot Blaze is here. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, oh wait, are we doing? Are we doing, word, doing it in order? First word that yeah, comes we're going first. in order. Uh, competitive. All right. Yeah. Now, great friends. Aww. Uh, when I say this, this isn't meant to seem like negative, okay. but volatile. I think. Uh, can I elaborate on this? Or? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think I have never been in a community that is both as welcoming and just as like, like they they take stuff very personally. Like it's kind of I, I kind of meme with like the whole like easy and stuff, but like yep. I'll, I'll be honest, Trank Twitter trauma hits different. I oh, I kind of love it. Oh boy. <laughs> no, I kind of love it. It's oh, not meant to be bad. I, I really like. I really like my experience with Trank so far. Drama. Oh my god! I, I've I've really enjoyed my experience with Trank so far. Oh. That's not meant to be a negative. Thing. I just oh, do I the casting. That. I don't do the tweeting. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. the tweeter? Uh... Chad, I'll tell you later. Uh, <laughs> not well, worth it. Chad, you're not even the resident boomer. Oh goodness! Wait a second. Chet isn't the resident boomer. <laughs> At um, well, So I, I guess the only thing that I have to say to that is a great reminder to everyone is that remember, if you have any issues in the community, please reach out to your community li- liaisons. I am one of them, along with uh, Bethcon Triage and um, crap. Who is the fourth one? It is escaping me at the moment. But nevertheless. Did you um, say triage? Yes, crispy. I did say triage. Okay. Isn't it crispy? Uh, I think it's crispy. crispy so, yeah, it's... 
So feel free to reach out to us anytime. We're always here to help. Unfortunately, we end up very often helping after things have come out on Twitter and we find out about them. So, you know, just know that we're pretty... The reason that we were chosen for this role is because we're really personable people. So you don't you don't have to worry about being judged or being, you know, being put to the flames just to make sure that you're, you know, defending yourself well or anything. Like, we're going to listen to you and we're going to try to get all sides of the story before we do anything so yeah uh, talk think, to them first. you know that's the whole point <laughs> of this community is that we are trying to create a positive environment and so anytime anybody brings up twitter drama i'm just like that's it uh, feels like a completely different world from what we typically do <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well it, it's just funny because like the actual like discord server is so like professional and so yep. friendly and like yep. I'll I'll just go on to this actual savannah that is just Drake Twitter and just Twitter see see actually. tribes fighting each other with pointy sticks. It's very funny. <laughs> it's not meant to be a bad thing. No, I, you guys no. are. I think this it's... is the best tourney look, I've ever been a part of. Genuinely, nice. look, look. All y'all need to know is Giz is Giz is just here for a pretty face. <laughs> and on that note, we're going oh, to go yes. to our final segment, yes. <laughs> which <laughs> nice is transition. my personal favorite. Server kick trivia. All right, so here's how it works: players are pinned against each other in a trivia-style game, uh, in order to buzz yourself in, because obviously we don't have a nut button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought y'all would enjoy that one. <laughs> oh, <geez. Sorry. laughs> Lost my composure. For we'll a second. State your name in the Discord. So, for instance, if J Star knows the answer, he'll say J Star. Me or Captain Jack here will answer. Will you know call out who we hear first? And then you'll have an opportunity to answer the question. If you answer the question correctly, you will be allowed to choose one person from your team to be kicked out of the server. And for the record, you cannot pick yourself because that's just plain old boring. And you can't pick us because we're in charge. Now, if you get it wrong, well, sorry to tell you this, but uh, you're the one getting booted. And he who stands above all at the end actually gets to close with us. So you get to have a little more fun than the rest. Any questions before we start? Oh, I gotta get my buzzer ready real quick. Okay. <laughs> I just oh. feel bad for Blaze coming in at the last moment just to oh, get kicked yeah, out of it. Ten I'm minutes dead. later, I'm, out I'm of our five brain cells on out of our what? five brain cells on Ember, Blaze is about three of them. If just, I'm gonna be honest. And there we go. <laughs> just watch. Blaze is gonna well. take it all and close it out with us after missing the first half of the <laughs> That'd interview. That'd be so awesome. <laughs> Oh my oh, god! Well, you there. know, there, there usually there usually is a trend here, and then I'll say what the trend is if it happens at the end. But I won't say anything till now because I don't yeah. want to ruin it. I feel so, like it, I feel like it will it will complete itself as yeah. Well. This will be another. I, I know what you're gonna say, and yes, it'll definitely turn out like that, Gizmo. All right, good, good. <laughs> so this week's or excuse me, tonight's trivia is Lunar New Year's voice line. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. Oh, no. All, right, all right, the first one. Oh, no. This this one shouldn't be too hard. The best things in life come in small packages. Blaze. Blaze. Diva. That is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Who are we kicking first? Uh, bye bye. Sure, I'll kick Jay. I knew it. <laughs> we talked about it earlier. We talked about it earlier. So <laughs> I, should, I really I. I, I I, I shot myself in the foot. I really did. All right. Peace, yeah, everybody. Bye, oh, Jesus. everybody. Bye, love you. Any final words, Jay? Catch us Wednesday. Uh, I'll be streaming the match. Peace. All right. Well, Jay Star, you know, your name makes me think of shooting stars. And just like all great memes... Death, in this case, getting kicked is inevitable. God, that is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Coming from me, too. Oh, God damn goodness. Yeah, just take me out of the pasture. <laughs> Think about All the rabbit right. sweaty. Next one here. Let's see. We got quite a few to choose from. So, I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give a real easy one for this one. You chicken? That's Roadhog, right? I didn't hear a buzz. Oh, sorry. Test, test, test. 
I'm surprised that's no that's one sorry. else jumped in after that. Yeah, no. Just to bust I was like, is that the voice line? <laughs> uh, yes, that was the voice line. So uh, yeah, that's Roadhog. You so, chicken. So Tess, you are correct. It it, it is uh, Roadhog's voice line. Yeah, so, I'm pretty professional at this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we got it on lock no big all right so who are we eating next you no um haha -ha, can't uh, you eat me it's uh, against the rules ha -ha, okay ha -ha. fine fine <laughs> who all right that's why we had to start uh, including it in the rules because people had <laughs> actually try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh um, geez hmm. I, you know what? Mm. Blaze, I don't like the chops on you. Oh. Yeah. Blaze, I don't like the chops on you. A little bit of karma. A little bit of karma. Yeah. A little bit of karma. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jerry's going to be so happy. All right. Oh, yeah. Blaze, any final words before we send you on your way? Oh, man. I don't know. I guess it's got to be boosty. Yo. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, Blaze. All right. Oh. Well, well, Blaze, you did light up the end of this interview, but. It is time to douse those flames. All right. I miss him already. Oh, I know. It's like he I came and then he immediately left. Lines. It's so weird. Probably... <laughs> All right, Gizmo, what's the next one? All right. We're going to go with a little harder one this time. <sighs> More lost than the moon in winter. Uh. It's a voice line? Yep. Yes. More, more lost than the moon in winter. It's one of my favorite characters too. Tess. Uh, Hanzo. Oh, I'm sorry, but that is actually the granny. Yep. More lost oh, than the moon dang. in winter. Sniper, yes. Oh, uh, not I, Hanzo. Thank God, thank God, he guessed it. I was going to. <laughs> oh my God. Get down, Mr. President. All right. Um. Well. At Any least put me out to the pasture. There, put, just put me out. Just, just take me out. Just take just you do away. Do it. Take you away. All right. All right. Take me home. Um, country roads. Well, you you see you hmm. see I kicked Tess out of the server, but you know, like most DPS, it it seems like Tess is already out of here, and you know, oh, over there in the enemy backline. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think I think this one would be a good last one, Jack. All right. Uh, I can't see whichever one you are highlighting, so oh, you will you will go down to two from the diva one. All right. Yeah. I mean that 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 was probably the one I was gonna go with. So cool. last one between Chad and Lynn. All right. I make this look good, real good. Lynn. 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 Lucio? That is correct. Woo! Hey. Woo! I'll make this look good. Real good. Yep. Yeah. That was a good impression. Oh, I had no idea I had the twice slides. So I won't lie. I love Johnny <laughs> Cruz. I love former, Johnny Cruz. Former Lucio one trick on console. 4400 peak on there. Nice. That's the only reason I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay attention to any voice lines. All right, Chad, that is that is your time to be done. Any last words before we send you on your way? Uh, peace. All right. Well, Chad, as you know, Chad's a big name around the Internet, and you have ruled this area for the Internet as long as Internet age has allowed. Time <laughs> to be dethroned. All right. So, Lynn... W scooping up the victory here at server kick trivia you got about 30 seconds you can shout out anyone anything you know throw some shade whatever it is you want to do you are completely and utterly uncontested until this comes out live on thursday so what do you got to all my friends in fffp and shout out to all the homies over at the pepper org i love all y'all and hope everyone has a good time in Trank this season and just take fun. Don't get too serious and don't tilt yourself. All right. All right. That's a great way to end this off. As always, folks, we enjoy you being here at the Beach Drop. Be sure to tune in next Tuesday where we'll be having another amazing team that we will be covering. But that is all from us. My name's Captain Jack. I'm Gizmo Charmander, and we'll see you next time. Let's drop the beat!